Hello and welcome back to the Ogidov campaign. Things are finally heating up. There's a Russian infiltration attempt along this creek. Um, I'm moving a king tiger over here and the mortars will hopefully start shooting there at some point. And apparently they're also moving into this forest here and I don't know why. Either to attack... Uh, one sec. This objective from the back or they maybe have a secret objective somewhere in Niemczyce or some stuff like that in order to encircle us. Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, but uh, for now this is the main attack that worries me. Oh, and also they shoot at me from over there with IS-2 or something. But so far they only knocked out a tank commander with that. Well, let's see if the Lettuce Brigade here can uh, manage to hold this off. Sadly they're not in the foxholes. I don't know how that happened. I must have missed that during setup. Although it's not massively bad, I think. Feinschützen. Nice. I hope they're pretty bunched up when they come out here. Okay, no, they're shooting back, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we have to be careful for, uh, about. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I can hear the King Tiger coming that I sent to help. They are nice and bunched up for the machine gun, so that's good. Oh, this is uh, harsh though. Uh, time to get out the hand grenades. Alright, that was some bad shooting, not gonna lie. Okay, but now the other positions in the flanks have spotted something and opened up, so that's good. We can get some crossfire going. Okay, the Russians are shooting back. Oh, that's not good. Oh, the other King Tiger from the front. Oh, nice. I think they're retreating. Ah, shit. I didn't have any casualties here, but uh, the PPSH fire freaked them out. Actually, probably a good move. I can set up more defensive position inside the... Uh, uh, inside the village. Makes actually some amount of sense. I mean, they did their duty here. They pinned them down long enough for my uh, other positions and the tanks to open up. Oh yeah, that's the other King Tiger. Where's that? Uh, shooting from... One second. Um, Yeah, shooting from over here, from this position. Yeah, that's a nice crossfire. Okay, uh, they are retreating. Can't really blame them. I hope they find a good position, the AI, because, I can, because they're in panic, so I can't give orders right now. And I hope that uh, our machine gun crossfire here from the tanks and the Lafette can actually um, keep enough out of the build-up area so that we can hold there, because the Russians are way more dangerous in the build-up area than um, outside. But yeah, now they are... Now they are... Um, bent down. Machine gunner. This seems to be a rifle unit. Oh, that's some good crossfire. Yeah, they're having heavy casualties now. But yeah, that was actually a nice uh, surprise attack. And I'm... I'm not sure if that was there uh, in the setup zone or if I put that there. I wonder, I may have to check that. If I put that there, I'm calling myself a genius right now. Okay. Keep as many of them out of out of the village as possible. I'm pretty sure these I played. So yeah, I am a genius. <laughs> okay, these are heavy casualties. And uh, this shows, and I've said this before, but uh, in my opinion what a uh, combat mission really needs is an AI trigger for casualty percentage uh, at a unit. So you can change a uh, unit's orders for the AI once they, um, once they get um, a certain amount of uh, casualties. So in this case the Russians after, I mean, after getting this kind of uh, shellacking here, oh my mortars are coming in now as well, you could tell them, okay, if this fails, uh, pull back, say, to here or something. That would make these kind of battles a lot more dynamic and uh, realistic looking. 
Okay, I think that was a good hit, but uh, needs to be more in this area. I want to really nuke the rest of them inside the gully, because there's probably more in there. Okay, uh, this is what I mean, they're still coming, and uh, that's where such an AI trigger would be cool. Then again, might not be entirely unrealistic for Russia, but... No, no, they're actually uh, firing back. So, um... But my mortar should be hitting this area in particular, so... Yeah, and some of them are retreating. Yeah, this, this attack is a shambles. Very good attack from the AI, not gonna lie. But, I mean, yeah, with King Tigers, this is easy to beat back. Otherwise, I would have a real problem if I had no tanks at all. Or no tanks in this area. Yeah, that machine gun is a bit annoying. That guy has some balls. The rest of his buddies don't. Although we can blame him. He's still shooting. Oh, okay. The mortars are going to come in soon. Okay, now he's suppressed. Another decent uh, spotting round, I guess. Let's see how the mortars land here. That said, I think the main assault is already defeated. No, oh, they're still coming. Yeah, that's a fresh unit, I think. Jesus Christ, they're gonna have kill counts in the dozens here. Okay, mortars should be coming in now. Actually, the mortars because they're so close. Yup, those are good mortar strikes. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. But yeah, they fed actually a lot of people in this one. So the mortar strike was actually right on target for another wave here. I think none managed to actually get inside the town, but I will have to try and clear that with my green Panther Grenadier squad to regain this position. Mortars are actually running dry, so these guys here, um, the ammunition bearers, have to run to the OP Blitzes to get more ammo. Nice, so those are nice mortars, that's where the machine gunner was. Jesus Christ, they keep coming. No, oh, th no, there's nothing left to send home from that one. Um, these were not that great. I want to note that so far in this engagement I have not actually suffered a casualty, although much of that m was luck from the initial battle. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's gonna stink in the morning. No, actually it is morning, never mind. Alright. Um, using the acquire command you can get new uh, rounds from that, uh, or generally from trucks. These two guys are now somewhat unrealistically uh, carrying, I think, 16 rounds of 81mm uh, mortar ammunition and they will run over here and resupply those automatically. Okay, the Russians are calling in their own RT. I wonder what they are targeting. Probably the Lafette inside the building, or maybe the old position I had here. Okay, there's still some guys here. So I don't want to regain those positions quite yet. 
let's wait for maybe a few more mod rounds to land or something. If the spotting rounds come closer, I might move the Lafette into the lower floor. Okay, so far not great spotting. Actually, that's smoke. Is that a smoke screen? Ah, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, and resupplied. So yeah, that's how that works. That actually looked like another Russian mo round. But yeah, my models are firing again, although probably not much. That was the Russian mortar round that landed inside Uglido here. Hmm. Uh, the question is, are these actually spotting rounds? Uh, and if they are, is there still somebody alive here who's spotting? Or uh, because sometimes they just keep shooting these spotting rounds and waiting for feedback from a dead guy and uh, never hit anything. Which would be ideal. That does kind of sound like a harassing mission though. Hmm. Uh, not really accurate compared to mine, which was perfect. Oh! I think they're actually doing a second assault. Guy okay, my love, Fat has already seen him. Okay, let's try it, I guess. It actually seems these are not spotting rounds, but a fire mission called in on a really, really wide area. Okay, second wave. I don't think they will fare much better than the first. No, on the contrary, worse. No, oh, they did actually gain some ground there. Seems to be a support element, uh, there are PTRDs and stuff. Interesting. They were probably supposed to uh, move up uh, to consolidate the position. My mortar actually got hit by a stray shell and took casualties. And this is the one that wasn't actually or dialed in and was still spotting. So that's annoying. I hope they can um, get over it and actually start the bombardment soon. Jesus Christ. Ah, okay, yeah, they're spotting again. Oh, and calling for effect, okay. Didn't even land that spotting round. Alright, things are getting interesting. Because, as I had thought would happen, the IS-2 finally broke cover and are moving out. The platoon HQ of the um, scout spotted them, so I moved the King Tiger back up, popped the surviving uh, crew member out the turret, and let's see if we can spot these guys. They are uh, moving back here somewhere. Yeah, you can see them there. King Tiger is not yet spotting them, but hopefully soon. And this is gonna be a nice book. Okay, they hit something, but not the King Tiger. Lost the spot. Whoa! Okay. Oh! Good hit. How much ammo does he have left actually? Okay, I still AP out of the wazoo.
see you around. That's not a good crew, that's a problem. And they lost the spot. Okay, uh, the Russians are making a move from our rear now. So they are coming out of this forest. Yeah, I'm moving one King Tiger there just to shell that tree line a little bit. Um, until they are more active, we will uh, look here though. Um, where they are, there's still some activity here. In one of the earlier rounds, I think I didn't show that, but uh, they actually moved a few people in here that got nuked, but this is not completely clear. And obviously, the IS2s. are still moving. Hmm. Anyway, that is enough for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.